Hi, I'm Rocco Steno, and welcome to Storymakers. Today, I have two guests with me. They are the creators of Dear Beast. It's Dory Hillestad Butler and Kevin Atterbury. Dory, you are the author, and Kevin, you are the illustrator of Dear Beast. I see two characters on the cover. Uh, one is a dog and one is a cat. This is Baxter and this is Simon. So Simon has been with Andy's family for many years. He's used to being Andy's only pet, but Andy's parents recently got divorced. And so now Andy has two homes and Andy's dad recently adopted a dog. And Simon has thoughts about that, that he puts in letters to Baxter and Baxter starts writing back. You know, they say you can't tell a book by its cover, but I kind of get a feeling about their personalities. Simon is a little bit staid and, and um, uh, formal and, and Baxter is a happy-go-lucky, nothing can bring him down kind of dog. Where did this story come from? The idea for this project began when Andy, my then 23-year-old, adopted a cat named Simon. The first time Andy came over after adopting Simon, our dog Mouse went absolutely nuts. I could tell that Mouse could smell this cat on Andy, and I started to imagine what he might have to say to that cat if he could talk to him or write him a letter. That's where the story began. But there's more to the story than that because Andy didn't just adopt this cat from an animal shelter. He adopted this cat from Kevin Atterbury. Is there a photo of the real Simon anywhere? Yes, and here's what he looks like. So Andy has two homes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Andy has two homes because his parents are recently divorced. So his dad has a new home just a couple blocks away from where Andy has lived all of his life. And now Andy spends one day at mom's house, one day at dad's house, one day at mom's house, one day at dad's house, as many kids from divorced families do today. So the title of the book is Dear Beast, but his name is Baxter. So who is this beast? So Simon actually begins his first letter to the dog as Dear Dog. He doesn't know what the dog's name is. And he is so appalled by this dog's behavior and his lack of ability to write a proper letter that he just sees him as a beast. If we were to describe Simon in one word, what word would that be? Dory? Arrogant. Kevin? Uh, cranky. And I'm going to say intolerant. So those three words can be adjectives that we can use for Simon. Same question for Baxter. Mine is actually a phrase, happy-go-lucky. I would say joyful. Oh, and mine is fun-loving. So both Baxter and Simon uh, have things they're good at and things that could use improvement. But is, is there something that they have in common, Dory? Oh yeah, they both love Andy with all their heart. They, they express that love differently, but they both love him and they both want the best for him. So Kevin, when you were creating a Simon and Baxter, was there a process that they go through an evolution to the final Simon and Baxter? You can see I uh, originally drew Baxter as a Boston Terrier. After discussing it with Dory, we decided he could be any kind of dog he wanted. So I obviously made him my own kind of dog. Um, and there's some sketches here that, that show the, the evolution of Baxter from the Boston Terrier to the handsome mutt he is today. What was important to me was that Baxter not be a golden retriever because I have another series about a golden retriever. So when he asked me what I had in mind, I felt like I had to give an answer. So I said the first thing that popped into my head, which was a Boston Terrier. So this book is a, a series of letters. Uh, is there a term for this type of writing style, Dory? Yeah, it's epistolary. It's kind of a big word, but I think it's also a fun word to say. You know, if your pet was to write a letter, just like Baxter and Simon, who would they write it to? Would they write it to you? 
And if they were writing to you, what your mom or your, your aunt or uncle or the person next door, what would they say in that letter? Share it with us in the comments below. Oh, hi, Simon. Guess what, Rocco? I think Simon's planning to write you a letter. I can't wait to read that letter. While he's doing that, Kevin, let me ask you a question. Would you like to show us how to draw Simon and Baxter? I'd be happy to. Uh, when I start drawing, I use a, um, a light blue pencil like this to get a, a rough sketch of, of what the finished drawing will look like. So um, to draw Baxter or Beast, I start with an oval because his head is kind of oval shaped. Uh, like that. And his ears are, are two triangles. So you can see them there. His nose is generally in the middle of his face when he's laughing or smiling. And since he's always laughing or smiling, we'll put his nose right about there and then give him that big old smile that, that we all love. Um, also, when he's smiling and happy, he usually has his tongue hanging out of his mouth. So I'll add that. Of course, he's got eyes. And over his left eye, there's usually a brown patch behind it. So we'll sketch that in there. And um, uh, when Baxter is writing a letter, he sits at a desk. So here's his desk. And he's usually very excited and tosses his paws up in the air. Um, let's see, that desk isn't very straight, but what the heck. Uh, he um, has a piece of paper that he, he writes his letter on. And of course, his trusty red crayon that he writes it with. So, when I get the sketch of Baxter just about the way I, I like it, I will put my pencil down and pick up a black pen and go over the, the pencil lines with the pen to, to give me the, the look of Baxter. So, here we go. Here's his head, his ears. His tongue hanging out of his mouth, of course, because he's happy. And his nose right in the middle of the face. His eyes. The eye patch behind his left eye. And his big old smile. Big old happy dog smile. And then his Pause, which he's thrown up in the air because he's excited. He gets to write a letter. I don't know if that's why he's excited or not, but he's excited. So, and here's our desk, the edge of the desk that he's sitting at. This paper that he's going to write on. And his trusty crayon. He's going to write with. And he's usually saying something like, Yay, because that's what Baxter says. So there's Baxter. Now for Simon, um, again, starting with my blue pencil, I also start with an oval, but this oval is, is more on its side. It's, it's a horizontal oval. So let's get that just about, and it's a little flatter. nose and he has big eyes. Let's bring his nose down a little bit. Big eyes. And he also has triangles for ears. Um, his eyes are generally downturned because he's usually kind of cranky. And But he also writes at a desk. And he uses unlike um, Baxter uses red crayon. Simon uses a, a fancy um, ballpoint pen. And let's see, where's his desk? His desk will be right about right here. And 
and then he has to have a piece of paper that he's writing on. And he usually writes on um, personalized stationery that says Simon at the top. We're not gonna get it in this, in this illustration, but just so you know. Um, now, and then we come back in and we, we add the ink, the black ink. And here's his fancy pen. And of course he's got a piece of paper here that he's writing on. And then his head. You know, it's funny because I usually start with the head. It seems like I'm doing the head last here. I wonder why. I have a hard time drawing ovals freehand, obviously. Um, his triangle ears, uh, his cranky eyes. He's cranky looking at uh, Baxter, probably. And his, oops, and the desk. The um, whiskers. And that is Simon, and he probably says something like, oh, probably, hmph. There's Simon, and there's Baxter, and that's how we do it. Thank you, Kevin and Dory, for being with us today. Thanks for having us, Rocco. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for having us. I had a great time. So remember, until next time, read a book in any format.